this switch, my mother-in-law, what she says, every time she plugs into this point here, break a strip. And I was quite busy, I didn't have time until Saturday. I opened up, I exchanged the thing, and as any curious engineer will do, you open up and see what happens. First thing that actually caught my curiosity is this. The wire comes in here, so one side is not working, the other side is working, which is very strange. If it's wiring, both sides should have the problem. So definitely it's one side of the switch that has a problem. There are six screws, I took out the screws, and lo and behold, as with any modern devices, there are hidden catches. There are two hidden catches at the bottom here, where you have a pry with a bit of force to force it open. First look at it, and it looks like So to give you a steady close up, this is like part of it. So the two hidden catches. So this side is the one with the 40 thing. And a close-up of this, uh, you, you may not be able to see it, there is a little thing that looks like a wire inside there. And my vision is not very good, so I couldn't quite see very well. And uh, I have a digital microscope which I put in my office, so I couldn't do anything until Monday. This little gap between, this is a live switch, this is a earth. Between these two, I put a ruler in between, it's actually about 2.5 mm. There's a 2.5 mm gap between the live and the earth. And this bugger is inside there. So what happened is this end crawled from the live, trying to reach the earth while the switch was on. It truncated itself and it kept itself there. So every time you try to switch on, you complete the circuit and <laughs> <laughs> you found a real bug in the circuit. Yep. <laughs> so a quick, simple thing which is actually interesting, which I thought might share with you guys.